Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. The love that Paul talks about is daily. It's unending. It's self-giving. With no expectance of gain in return, it just seeks the benefit and the growth of the other. He exemplified this word love for us, what it means, and he enables us to express it, to live it out. Billy McKenzie, you know, this is something you'll pursue, you'll strive for, one day lay hold of and possess. This is a reality that your marriage can be based upon. Mackenzie was encouraged at a local Bible study to write a list of her future husband and the qualities she wanted in him. And showing wisdom beyond her years, the things she wanted in a future spouse that were most important to her were honesty, integrity, and most importantly, a godly man. Billy, it overjoys me to see my best friend marry that man today, and then some. Thank you for being a virtuous man. William Mackenzie and your future family closer to Christ. Kenzie, thank you for fulfilling a dream of a father. In all that we've experienced in the last two and a half years, to be able to walk you down that aisle is what I've lived for. Today is special. As human beings, there's countless days that we live out that we never remember. And today is not one of those days. Today is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful occasion. I encourage you to look around, take in the beauty of the scenery. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Take you, Mackenzie. Take you, Mackenzie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To forever honor you. To forever honor you. Before God and man. Before God and man. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Kenzie. Take you, Billy. Take you, Billy. To be my husband. To be my husband. To forever honor you. To forever honor you. Before God and man. 
for God and man. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. As surely as God has joined them together, let no man, let nothing in all creation ever tear them apart. Now may the Lord bless you both. I pray that his grace and mercy would be your shelter and that the Holy Spirit would give you wisdom and power in his name. And that your marriage and your lives would be a testimony to what God has done, is doing, and will do. Amen. Now, as Billy leaves his mother, and you leave our home. I know that you have now a new best friend to go on adventures with. And that's gonna be pretty amazing. So, raise a glass. Many blessings to you too. Billy, <laughs> let me kiss your bride. For me to understand and recognize the impact that you've had on my life and the fact that my sister gets to experience that day in and day out is so, so freaking cool. So if you could raise your glass to uh, the power couple, Mac and Billy Thompson. Okay.